Nyangaseo, today is day number 102 here in Seoul, South Korea. And today we had a game against the LG Twins in which we won 4-3. to three. A game that I pitched 7 innings, I gave up 3 runs in the 7th. So uh, it wasn't quite as nice as I would have liked, but it was still a quality start. Gave the team a chance to win, and uh, we did. We won 4-3, to three, so uh, I'm all smiles. Um, yeah, so uh, the thing that I wanted to talk about today is a rule that they've uh, in place here in the KBO called the 12 second rule, which means that the pitcher has to be ready to throw the ball in 12 seconds and the hitter has to be ready to stand in there in 12 seconds. Well, obviously this rule is a little unrealistic because things happen that take longer than 12 seconds, but when players are intentionally trying to slow the game down, that's when you have to enforce the rule and uh, I think I've seen the 12 second rule called once in a 2 to 1 game and that's it. I've never seen it called in these high scoring games when it's important to keep the game moving. And I know that they've had problems in the KBO with uh, the length of games. They're over three hours on average this year. So, uh, yeah, it's just something if you're watching the games, you see it all the time. You know, in a high scoring game, it seems like pitchers are taking longer between pitches and everything is taking longer. In the low scoring games, you know, everything's moving well. And it's just something that you know, it's hard to have a definitive rule on unless you're going to literally sit there with a stopwatch 12 seconds and that's that's just not realistic because that's not the way game, game of baseball works. So, uh, yeah, the 12 second rule here, it's something that probably should be enforced in the states. They do a pretty good job of it in the minor leagues, but, uh, you know, 12 seconds is kind of an arbitrary number. So, that's all I got for today. The Chungi Mario.